So welcome to Creating Ultra Sexy Offers with Erica Glesson, that's me. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to tune into what we could do today that would just kind of blow everybody's mind who's listening. So what could we do today just on this specific Zoominar alone that would be, you know, phenom. So uh, I'm going to walk through the five steps that I do. Uh, is that Christine? If if that if you have noise in the background, can you mute yourself? Um, it should just be like a mute button on the Zoom. Let's see. Uh, uh, I went ahead and did it, and to unmute, just tell it to unmute, and then we won't have the uh, background noise. Awesome. Oh, create sexy, irresistible offers. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> I love it. So um, we're going to open up with something that is not something everyone thinks about all the time. So as you're getting ready to have more offers in your business, what I'm going to ask you to do, and welcome, Pat. You can, um, you can uh, join in completely open audio mode or you can uh, self mute if you want so it's up to you and I just had people type in the chat button um, what they really wanted to get out of today <laughs> and so Becky took um, create sexy irresistible offers so feel free to add if you wanna add anything else would be good awesome it's good to see you Pat even for a second that was fun uh, <laughs> Thank you. I know. I see you less now that I live near you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Life is so interesting. Awesome. Okay, cool. So um, the first thing that I, I, I've actually broken this down into five steps because it's so easy for me. And I realized that if I broke it into some steps, that would make it easier for other people. So one of the first things I recommend that you do is Google yourself from an incognito web page. So go to like Chrome or Explore, whatever you use, Safari, go incognito, and then Google yourself and see what comes up. Because if you're gonna build really cool, irresistible offers, people are gonna Google you. And you just wanna have an awareness of what shows up when people Google you. I had the strangest thing happen one time. I signed up for, and Pat, this is funny that you're on the call for this. I signed up for a meetup group. It wasn't yours. It was, it was a meetup group like in Santa Cruz or something. It was a really strange one. And I just was like one day just like typing and I saw it and I signed up and it was a very odd meetup group. I can't remember what it was. When you Googled my name, this was years ago, that was what came up first was that I was part of this meetup group that didn't really have anything to do with what I do in the world. So what you want to start doing is start having an awareness of what happens when people type in your name or people start looking for you because as you build more offers and your business grows and grows and grows, people are going to want to say, is that, is that who they say they are? <laughs> you know? is, is she for real? That's a question that people are going to ask themselves. And so one of the first things you want to do, and it's, it's bigger than just what you get when you Google yourself. It's building your whole platform. But I thought if we started just by kind of having you figure out what people get when they type in your name, that would be an easy way of starting that uh, dialogue. And then uh, I, am, I do have a five-part series available. Uh, so you can actually get the whole five-part series with me and work with me deeper on each of these items and you don't have to but I built a five-part series about this and in that I will take everyone who signs up through deeper into the platform development platform evolution <sighs> and uh, when I've taught that before usually each person comes up with something a little different from each other so that one person might grow their platform more on YouTube, another person might grow it more on Facebook, another person might grow it more on uh, uh, Twitter or Instagram or was this, uh, what is it, that Periscope was really hot for five minutes? <laughs> now it isn't. 
Um, but go ahead and uh, start just thinking about what happens when people search for you kind of organically. And that just goes into building a sexy offer because that is one of the things that stops people from saying yes. So that let's say uh, Pat puts out something about helping people feel young, right, Pat? <laughs> so helping people be younger and get younger and know their youth. So uh, if I type in Pat Duran, do I find those things that pop up that resonate with that? So when the offer does a little bit of syncing with what you're known for, what you've done before, people re get relieved. And then that makes the offer sexier because it's like more real, it's more true. So um, here's an example of a sexy offer I got in my inbox today while I was building the class, how to create a sexy offer. It came in uh, over the weekend. And so uh, I was, um, this morning, I was getting really firm about it. And so uh, let me look at what this came in. It was the sexiest offer. It was uh, from a guy named Carl uh, Harvey. And he sent this brand new sexy offer, and it was the habits of seven, the seven common habits of abundant people. So it was like seven things he's observed in people who've reached extreme wealth, something like that. And right now he's teaching abundance. He has an abundance book club. So if you Google him and you go on his YouTube, it matches his sexy offer, but it's a brand new offer. So it's, you can, almost anyone can use this. The seven habits of highly effective people. You can do the seven habits of people who want to lose weight. You can do the seven habits of, uh, that's almost always a pretty good offer because it's seven things that people can do. Um, cool so uh find out what people get when they look at you and then the next thing i kind of wanted to get into was that moment and and becky and i were talking about earlier like a download so that moment when something just shows up to you as if by magic like it's like an insight it's like uh as you're sitting there asking what would be awesome, this shows up, okay? Um, Becky, do you have any, could you wanna share what you and I were talking about with that? Do you remember earlier? Can you go live? Just trying to find the unmute button. <laughs> I know. I, it's still challenging for me to teach without having lots of interaction I'm working on. No, no, no. It's all, it's all good. It just, um, it, it just was finding out where I needed to be. So, the, so ask your question again. It's about the download. Oh, I'm the, so the first concept I was teaching was the platform. Mm -hmm. Of, and what to, now the second one was really going into kind of a medita meditative state and asking for an insight. And you were saying you were starting to get these, like you called them pings. Yeah, the um, yeah, absolutely. It's it's like I start asking, and then just seemingly random things pop in and out of um, in and out of my mind. And so. Like one was um, just two words, actually, which was life unscripted. Mm. And then when I started asking questions about that, I was like, oh, my gosh, like how, how much do we live life according to what somebody expects or the limitations thrust upon us or people's expectations? And what would it be like to just give ourselves permission to live life unscripted? And, and I just, I got it. And I, then I started asking questions about whether it was a call or whether it was a series or whether it was a book or, you know, kind of what it was. So for me, the pings and pops really are, <laughs> they're, they're seemingly random. They have no context in anything I'm looking at or anything that I'm doing. Um, and actually, that's perfect. So thank you for that. That's what I wanted to mention because sometimes what will show up in this moment of insight isn't perfectly logical. And so what happens because it isn't perfectly logical is we tend to say, who are you? 
I, I don't recognize you. I, I, are you a book? Are you this? Are you that? Whatever. So if we want to start saying you're an irresistible offer, it takes a little pressure off of the needing to define it perfectly yet because we're not defining it perfectly yet. We're saying this is a, a, like a perfect thing that will get more people to want to play with me. And, and right off, you're, it's so funny because from your perspective, it's like I don't see why that fits anything, but it fits perfectly with Becky Unchained, your radio show. I mean, it's exactly. Yes, it does. Right? So <laughs> yeah, anyone, totally. So anyone watching your radio show, when you come up with, hey, come join me on, you could do a Zoominar on being unscripted as your own call for people to come join. It's like it's a perfect leap for them. It doesn't, it, it may not, it, it, that's the thing when it's a really hot, sexy offer, it isn't always exactly anything you've ever thought of and you're like why am i coming up with this <laughs> and it's exactly what you were talking about too if they look something up about me online it will be congruent with this particular topic see exactly. awesome um awesome pat did you feel like joining us and brainstorming with me real quick you can you don't have to <laughs> I just kind of wanted to kind of walk through like what it feels like when you're tapping into the energy of it, getting a creative idea about it, and then letting it come in and be real. Did you unmute, Pat? It looks like you did. Yeah, Hi. I just unmuted. You're not going to be able to see me well because the light, the light's behind you know, me. No, my light's being really weird too. It's this time of day, I think. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So um, when I was talking about getting kind of an insight. What, how, what did that kind of show up for in your world? Um, well, I, I really have learned over the years to trust my intuition and trust what, what comes to me, um, much like you. Uh, well, you're, I mean, you're the epitome of it, but... Um, well, you teach it also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, when it comes, it's beautiful, and it, it's... Um, it's just so clear and yes, I'm, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and go with this. Yeah. It's, it's That's perfect. Just a total yeah. congruence that, yeah. um, you know, I'm making a choice that's going to contribute to my life. And I have to say there's something about ease that people really like. And here's an example that showed up for me that was so interesting is, and this is just going to sound ridiculous. So I'm at the drive through McDonald's with my kids and we're getting up there and they're having some trouble with their, uh, with their sound systems. They're putting in a new sound system. And so we get to the, and they're putting in an extra one. So they can't take the order on the first one. And then we get to the next one. They have a second built thing, and they and they're still having trouble with the order. And they take two people's orders behind us, mm -hmm. and they still haven't taken our order. And we're sitting there, and all the cars have cleared in front of us, and, and all it's just like a smoothie for my son after school. And so we just want like a two dollar smoothie, and we can't order it. And it's so hard for them to take the order. Like they're trying so hard to get it right and you could see they're working really hard on it they got worker guys working on it so we finally get up to the window to give them the two dollars to get the order and they take the order and she even like messed it up somehow like I can't remember what she did wrong but I had to repeat it I think several times and it was hysterical by the time we were done so think about now you want to drive back to that McDonald, you don't even want to drive up. You're like, right. it was so hard for them to take my money. <laughs> it was like, I don't want to put them through that kind of pain anymore. You know? So yep. um, I'm kind of getting ahead, which I always do. But uh, <laughs> um, you want to make it easy for people. That's actually step, I think that's step four or five. So <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. But when you get the insight, then you kind of walk it through its evolution and would that also be easy for me to teach? So if you had the idea, Becky, like life unscripted, would that also be easy to teach? Would that be easy to charge for? Would that be easy to, do you see? So you want to play through not just the opening idea, but once you get the opening idea for the hot, sexy, irresistible offer, 
part of it being hot, sexy, and irresistible is it's easy for you to deliver it. Does that make sense? Um, so Pat, is there anything you're working on right now that you want us to play with? Um, well, actually, most of my time is going to a new project where uh -huh. I'm, I'm coaching people with PTSD. Oh, awesome. So this so, is a, a brand new venture. Awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I got a really good vibe on that. So mm -hmm. it's funny that you say that. The next, so the first one is kind of your platform, and then the next one is kind of insight like insight, uh, having a, a woohoo, having an aha, having a what I would like to have as my offer, uh, that it comes out of insight. The next one is more of the step-by-step uh, -step part, and which is how is what I'm offering going to be a resolution of their pain? Mm -hmm. So how is it going to take care of something that I've personally solved or that I know how to solve or that I get information from source on how to solve. How is this going to, so I teach 60 days of happiness is one of my courses and it solves the problem of not feeling happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> if you wish you were happier, it gives you like 60 different concepts that when you focus on will shift your vibration into more happiness. So it solves that problem. So you want to think about it a sexy, irresistible offer, you know, first sort of being, I think Becky said it really well, <laughs> just trust how she said it, like being congruent with your, with who you are next um, having it be an insight, meaning it leaps a little bit deeper than your average bear thought. So it's not something that just every single person is walking around thinking about it. The leaping is the insight. That's the stepping up into the calibrations of consciousness that mean it's a little bit off what everyone else is. That's what gives you that uh, moment of aha-ness that we get is that, that leaping. And then the next step, which is my fourth thing, is the pain resolution. And this is where you're actually addressing something that people are either, so if it's PTSD, they're really trying to solve things they can't control. They respond a certain way to situations and they can't control it, right? Isn't that kind of one of the themes behind PTSD is yeah. you respond to things and it screws up your life now and it's tied into some past memory that you don't even have always consciousness about because of having awareness of it is so painful. So anything that you get on that, that would be a really interesting thing to come up with hot, sexy offers for because you want to be careful. People can't get too much awareness all at once. It's just too painful. So they have to get little bits of awareness and then little bits of awareness, little bits of awareness, and then they can heal those until they don't have to respond the way that they've been responding, you know? So PTSD is a fascinating topic for this because you want to do pain resolution of something that keeps you up nights. So... Mm -hmm. When I was thinking about, you know, what do people that I work with, all the authors I work with and all the people I help think about, one of the things that we think about is how do I grow my business? And one of the ways we grow our business is hot, sexy offers. So this showed up in kind of that leaping way. And then it was addressing something that I felt keeps people up nights a little bit. I mean, I don't personally get kept up too late at night about offers but I do think a lot of people sit there and try to figure it out you know how do I make an offer how do I make an offer how do I make an offer so um, that's the next thing that I think so important is um, looking at the pain that the one of the things um, wow this just showed up so big for me one of the huge things that's going on with light workers on the planet right now is as we shift into 2017 there's an opportunity where light workers will be called to express themselves in a much bigger way. There's an opening to change the planet in a much bigger way. And so mm -hmm. many of the people, Pat, you're definitely a light worker on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. Becky, you are. Everyone else who's listening, Christine, I don't know you personally that well. But as we go through this thing where we're trying to do more on the planet, we're trying to be more, we're trying to help more people, it's a natural calling. 
it's not it's it's evolutionarily sent it's like the planet's ready for more from us than they've ever been ready and there's an intensity of it right now that's really driving light workers to say how can i get my message out to more people and help more people with what i do this is something that i'm feeling and i'm not alone a lot of people are feeling this drive to express bigger in the world and it's like whatever people have been doing right now some of them are being told that they could do more that they could help more people that there's ways they could set things up in their businesses in their lives that would be easier for them to reach more people with their gifts and certainly you can feel the intensity in me when I even talk about this it's like holy moly how much is possible if we would all kind of like get a little bit sexier with our offers not not as a way of just being purely commercial, but also allowing for commercial, but more as a way of getting our messages to touch and reach. Oh my gosh, you feel the power of that. When your message is aligned and congruent with your overarching spirit and then the work you would like to do in the world in the next year. And Pat, it doesn't surprise me that you're being drawn to help the people who need it most. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. Oh, there's a shocker. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? And it and it's all coming reasonably easily. Like talking to people about PTSD, everybody knows somebody who has it and goes, wow. Oh, I know somebody who really needs you. Wow, mm. isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah, I would not be able to do that work. <laughs> said anybody wants that work <laughs> well the interesting thing is the method I'm using is content free so they don't have to talk about their memories um, they, they, and it's, yeah. it's really powerful yeah so that's awesome so mm -hmm. um, what I've done for this uh, irresistible offer piece is I've actually built these uh, five different segments of teachings. And so I'm going to go through them one more time just because it's like, what is our platform? Uh, what is the insight? What pain does it resolve? These are all really important things. And then the next one is, uh, I know this is going to strike a chord with some people listening. How else can the person work with you? So there's first like what the offer is, and then there's the, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, right? <laughs> because every offer will attract people to work with you. And so I, I joke around like people don't really like one night stands. <laughs> That's like so last year. <laughs> like, people, like if we go to the library or we go to the bookstore and I, my daughter and I, and we bought this book on peculiar, you know, the peculiar children movie, there's a book. Well, he's actually written three and all three are available. <sighs> so if I buy it and like it, I can buy the sequel and then the third one in the trilogy. Oh, right. It's such a relief. What if I buy it and like it and I can't play with that guy anymore? You know, it's, it just sucks. It's like, how would that be fun? Right? So what you want to do when you're thinking about your irresistible offers is you want to ha have other things people can do to play with you. So you don't have to do, have everything you have offered on the Zoominar. <laughs> like all I'm really offering on this Zoominar is a, the five part series that you can get if you uh, I'll send the link to everybody who attends um, and who signed up. But uh, I'm also then going to have a bigger, deeper program of like building an eight week online course that you would build irresistible offers for. So you don't have to do all this right at once if you've never done it. Cause I was feeling a little freaking out energy. <laughs> But just, um, this is how I was on this wonderful event uh, last week. And it was like, he's like, so if you have this one big, nice offering, then have the next level of eight weeks of offering. And then do you have a one-year mastermind offering? 
You know, could someone give you $50,000 and play with you for a year? You know, it's like a lot of people aren't thinking past like the one offer, but what my experience is, is when someone works with you once, works with you twice, then they're going to want to keep working with you. They're going to want to keep hiring you. They're going to want to keep, because you've done something to, uh, to help them through something. And so that means on the planet at this time, we all know how rare it is to find someone who can help us. <laughs> It's like, it's just not everyone can help everyone. You know that. You can only learn from people that you either respect or you look up to or they're doing something that you're interested in. And so when you look at who you'd like to learn from, and so as you position yourself to be that person that, that people can learn from you, then you want to have more stuff they can do with you. You want to make that clear even in the opening offer that if they hang out with you, you'll give them more stuff to play with you on, if that makes sense. Is there any questions on that piece? Becky, you seem to have a reaction to that. That, um, yes. Because <laughs> I, I have this idea that people would not wish to do that. And so it's some component of hiding, which is being, you know, shifted and shaken and like totally desiccated as we speak so it just it just feels really light to have other ways for them to tap in and play and for me to be willing to invite them that's the difference yeah I mean how wonderful are you and and you know so I'm so blessed to have a few of you on that I know <laughs> I mean, how wonderful are you to keep offering things that people can keep playing with you on, you know? And so um, I got, I actually got shown this from someone when I accidentally tapped into the back end of her website. She sent me a link for one of her classes, someone I take classes from, and I got a link to the back end and it was like 500 offers. <laughs> and it was just charted. And it was all her offers instead of the class that she wanted me to take from her, which she'd sent me the link, but I got that, you know, 404 message, like you, that page not found. But her 404 message was actually the back end of her website with all of her past offers on it. And it was just hundreds of offers. I've never seen so many offers in my life. And I'm sure um, some of them worked and some of them didn't. So, um, I'm going to talk a little bit now. We actually went through all the messages already, which is awesome. I'm going to go a little bit through what stops our, uh, what, what, what blocks us from sharing our creative offers. Because what I kind of got shown from you guys that are listening, and probably this means people who are going to be tuning in after, is sometimes you come up with sexy, irresistible offers. You don't follow through. You don't create more. And then the last part, and this is really dangerous, you wait for some kind of huge validation before you're willing to do anything. <laughs> so if 47 people don't sign up to my first class offering, and I've said that number is 47 very importantly because that means if I don't hit it, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to do anything else because I've set the number. Forty-seven people don't sign up. It was a bomb. It was a you know it was a bomb. So there's a time lapse when you shift into doing more sexy offers, where between where people can actually work with you on that topic. So you want to give it. My experience is about six months. You want to keep doing offers in that topic for about six months. So people get used to you being a go-to person on that topic. And you can play with the topics a little bit. You know, they don't have to be the same. But you, you want to, if you're going to be teaching on something, you don't want to show up once. It's the same thing as not wanting to have one-night stands. People also don't want to sign up for something and then, like, have it not really exist. It's a very strange uh, thing that people like. So, um... For instance, if I want to take a money class from Dane, I'm lucky because I know he'll be teaching that again, right? 
He's taught it before. He taught it three years ago. <laughs> he's taught it. He taught it in Sweden. He's taught it in Stockholm. He taught it. So he'll teach it at some point again, maybe someday. And if not, there's a lot of information about that. And I can go get his book on that. And do you see how safe I then feel signing up for that with him? It's like this warm, comfortable thing. And so what you want to give to your listeners and your followers is now, you know, Becky, you have a perfect, and again, this comes in where I know you guys too well. You have a radio show once a week. I'm curious. You could have a Wednesday sexy offer. I will have fun. <laughs> that would be way too fun. Don't do that. <laughs> so then, also, I, then I'm curious every time I tune in what your sexy offer will be. And maybe it's the first Wednesday of every month. But if you did something every Wednesday, it had kind of a nice feeling to it. So this week, you could say on Friday, I'm doing a free 20-minute activation session on living unscripted. It's only 20 minutes. It's free. It's on Friday. It's only this Friday. You can only tune into it. Blah, blah, blah. Finite, special, work with me. Then you have to get their email. You have to find out more. They have to connect with you to, to do it. Wow. And now they're in your list of people you send other offers to. Awesome. And how fun is that? And, but if you only do it once and then you wait and see how many people show up and then you count the dollars of how many people, much money people pay you on each thing you do, did you feel the heaviness of that? Did you feel yeah. where the call went? Yeah, you could feel the energy of sitting there judging the crap out of yourself for every offer you make. You could feel what that does to everything. It's, it's not a, it's not about the results. It's about the energy of the creation, right? Okay, it will yep. be about the results, but it doesn't need to be about the results immediately. Gotcha. Thank you. So you do want to get results. And you don't want to say no results are okay. And <laughs> so it's not about saying it's never about the results because you see where that went? Yeah. That went into, oh, I don't care about results. I can do endless amounts of, of sexy, irresistible offers and have no one ever follow them, and that's okay. That's not what I want to tell the universe at all. Right. That's uh, I'm so I glad I asked because there was some little weird something there. Exactly. So thank you, thank you yeah. so much. That was a beautiful question, honestly, because we get sometimes stuck in like uh, um, – now, the other thing, too, I did come up with this really cool thing for one of my clients. We were working with her, and I'm just trying to find the offer. I'm going to show it to you on the, um, the website. Um, we came up with – it's not about the numbers of clients. It's more about the um, – it's more about kind of like that you have clients. <laughs> so it's not about the numbers of them because cause someone had offered this particular client the opportunity to bring 10 people together for a bar session. And she wanted more, so she said no to that. But saying no to that was like the wrong energy. Do you see? The right energy, the right energy, the generative energy was saying yes to someone who wanted to set up a class and invite 10 people for you. That's a yes. That's like a yes. That felt, you can even feel it without me saying it, how yes that is. So you do want to look for signs, as it were, of of yeses <laughs> and i'm going to share my screen with you now i'm so excited about this share screen functionality. And, and I, but i love the distinction of that right so you say yes to the yeses and yet you don't you don't judge any of it in terms of allowing it to limit or yeah because okay so as um and this is the web page of the sign me up page so you can see i had fun with that so now um, I'm going to step into um, ease, okay, a little bit deeper. Uh, how can I make it easy for you to work with me? And then how can I make it easier for you to work with me again? 
And then how do I make it easier for you to work with me again? And you guys, this is not something I woke up knowing. So there's no mistake, Becky, that we're hanging out here on this webinar because essentially the harder we make it to work with us, the less people can work with us. And it's just like that example I gave earlier when someone can't take your money easily. <laughs> so um, on this sign up page, I actually go through what we're doing right now. So that's pretty fun. And then the link takes you to PayPal and then you get five steps. And what I'm finding is people would like to have them in their inbox. So they're really interested in just having the information show up in their inbox. So um, for five days, everyone will, who signs up will receive a, a lesson every day on building a, a ultra sexy offer with Erica. And um, I'll answer questions and email back. So it's a really fun thing we're going to do on this uh, sign me up for ultra sexy offers with Erica. And um, what got called to me to create this was all of our businesses asking to be bigger. So I got the request. I felt like it came from uh, all of, you know, um, Pat is also one of my authors, Becky. Pat wrote in this beautiful book that I have. Awesome. So I got this message from all of our collective businesses that they all would like to be bigger. And I could sort of see, like, um, what happens on the planet when that works. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <sighs> So that was the genesis of the series, um, and uh, so I'm looking in the blocks of what blocks people. Uh, Pat already nailed it for all of us on live on the call that we get our intuition and we do it, but I think that is something that stops people. They get an idea for a hot, sexy offer, and then they don't do it. So it's really important that you actually take an action towards your intention, which is setting your business to be bigger. So that's something that blocks people. Um, something else that stops people is <laughs> feeling like they're not together enough. <laughs> And I think that's hard. A lot of us are perfectionists and we would much prefer to wait until everything's perfect and it's all dotted and it's all set up and it's all, and then this is in places and that's in place. But here's the thing, the planet's moving really fast and people are calling for our help and they're calling for your help. So if you wait until everything's perfect, it's likely you won't do enough sexy offers to generate what your business is asking. Okay, and then the last step um, is not really a step. It's actually kind of like an opening. It's brainstorm. And so uh, the last thing I'm going to bring up, this is the last point. We just have a few more minutes left. I'm going to finish at 150. So we have like eight more minutes. Um, basically, um, you want to brainstorm. This is my journal. And so this is where I brainstorm. And you want to brainstorm, like, uh, if you can, come up with, Offer, 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 offer. And then if you can, because that way when you do choose an offer, it feels more comfortable for you and not quite as wild and out there on a limb. Does that make sense? Because your brain's gotten more used to it. So who would like to be a guinea pig and brainstorm? You will, Becky? Pat, do you want to be a guinea pig too or not yet? <laughs> all right oh, sorry i could i was having trouble unmuting i know yeah, I can not, I can give it a whack although i, I don't so, i don't have a lot of control because this ptsd work is going through another company so i don't have as much control over it as usual um okay so but I, I could play with be able to make sexy offers um I don't think so in that one, actually. Um, but I could, I could play with, with my other business with the getting, you know, getting younger every day. All righty.
I haven't so, abandoned that one. I just have, have been focusing on the PTSD lately. So on the PTSD, you will have no opportunity to attract new clients? No, I will be able to attract new clients. I won't have any um, control over pricing. Right, but or, can, or you offer, can you offer uh, free things? Um, probably, yes. Like uh, webinars? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's a hot okay. thing to offer. All right, cool. <laughs> cool, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest, Pat, that was the thing I think you needed to get from today. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, let's just sit there for a moment and just... Feel the lightness of being so that when you get a creative idea, like a creative marketing idea, it can go into, say, like one of these, like a Zoom and R. Uh -huh. It can go on a YouTube. It can go on a SoundCloud. It can go as a post on Facebook, a simple post. Mm -hmm. uh, any idea that you get that's going to help people and will attract people into growing your business, uh, get out of the box. <sighs> mm -hmm. Whatever box that is that's stopping that flow in the energy of your business, just ask the business to break through that flow. And do you feel the ocean of more business that can come? It's really big. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's lovely. Awesome. Thank you for being the mm. guinea pig there, Pat. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I could feel the flow. Could Becky yeah, that was feel good. that? Uh-huh. Wasn't yep. that nice? Um, so, Becky, tell me something you're kind of feeling like you'd like to work on a little bit. Uh, the stuff around, um, like, kids and baby whisper and just helping, not just, like, little kids, but just kids in general. I love helping kids tap into their, to who they be. Mm. Whether it's teenagers who are, don't know what to do with their gifts and capacities or, and I do love working with babies and, and like little beings too. So just awesome. Feels like that's part of what I'm here to do. Uh huh. And so, I haven't put it out there yet. Okay. Um, so if we look at the system, we want to start having a platform that shows you as being the expert in that area. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one of the easiest ways that I know of to be shown as an expert is to do easy articles. Okay. So uh, if you write, say, five articles on it mm -hmm. and publish them. Uh, uh, it's easingarticles.com. Uh, I'll show you mine real quick. Uh, easingarticles.com. And by the way, uh, Pat, this would also work for PTSD. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, here's an example of one that I wrote, three steps to take today to get your work off your hard drive. Okay, that's a perfect one to bring up in response to Becky's question also. True? Yep, yes, yes. So, uh, and you, do you see on here the Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Indeed? Two people have shared it on Indeed, but that was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, if you do want to create a couple of articles before you make your offer, uh, you can post them. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get five articles is to come up with five ideas for something, do a summary article, and then do one article for each one article is four or five hundred words. And boom, you have five articles on a topic. And when you populate those with your name, and you can put them on all your socials. Now, if you could do five articles and then do your super sexy offer, it's a little uh, bedroom that you've just built for it that the sexy offer feels really good in. 
and and uh, Becky, honestly, if you tune into that that group of what teens wish their moms would know, why teens use their phones all the time, uh, how to get your kid off of Snapchat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, what to do about your baby's um, crying that you haven't thought about. So something besides, you know, changing their diaper and giving them food. You know, what else is possible? You could do five other things that you could soothe your baby with. You know, and then, hey, by the way, if you need help with this, I'm available. You know? Uh, Pat, for you, this is perfect if you want to do some easing articles. That's perfect because you write, well... Uh, actually, Pat, for you, I'm not getting articles. I'm getting SoundCloud. <laughs> that actually makes sense because I think I think hearing voice will do more, you know, the empathy and all that mm -hmm. that comes through in a voice that doesn't in the written word. So here's um, most popular tracks for, here's an example of SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dane does really short ones, so he does two and three minute ones. Uh, but one of my favorites on SoundCloud is Tamara Yunker. So if you look at her on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she has one hours. Wow. I mean, any of these recordings, you can't listen to them and not change. Huh. He's the phenom. I personally get more attracted to working with someone that does bite, big bites. Uh huh. But the way that they say, like the the thing, is the short three minute bites. So obviously, you're going to attract some people one way and some people another way, and so do what you want to do. <laughs> oh, do, do both, it seems. Are those her radio shows? Do you know, Erica? No, I don't have no idea. And then huh. here's, here's another one I like. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Shannon. O'Hara? Yeah, I like her on SoundCloud. She's super fun. Uh, I think that's her there. So uh, hers are five minutes, five minutes, six minutes, four minutes. Is your house haunted? Creating money with entities. Stop comparing yourselves to others. So look at this whole body of work she has on SoundCloud. She really works SoundCloud well. Pat, this one really resonates for me, for you. Yeah. So what you want to do now, um, each of these SoundCloud recordings can be a hot, sexy offer. Okay? Each article, Becky, can be a hot, sexy offer. All right? Wow, what was going on there? Holy moly. I got this thing of it can't be an offer unless, and then I just got this like truckload of things people have put in their brain that things had to be in order for an offer to really be an offer. Does that resonate for anybody? I don't get that it was you guys necessarily. What is that, Pat? I was just going to say, it felt like I was getting ready to ask you to say more in terms of how to translate that into an offer. So maybe I was picking up the same energy of like all the ways we define what an offer is. And isn't. I mean, right. essentially, it's a way of showing up. Okay. So first of all, in and of itself, the offer itself wants to do or teach or be something that changes the world for the better. So if all they do is come to this offer, like I, I'm sure anyone who listens to this webinar all the way through, it can actually shift them in the direction they've been asking to go. They don't actually have to take my class, right? Although I'd like them to, so I'll go back to that site. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. But I, I, I really like that, right? So Hot Sexy Offer also is it's a it's the contribution that it be to the planet or and to people. Right. And it's changing the world. Right. Yeah, got it. That's and that cool. that's a good way of getting around the thing. So Pat for you on um PTSD, you've done some extra work in this area. Um what's what's something that people really 
what's a misconception about it? Um, that it's a brain injury or a okay. mental illness. Oh, two. I would do a different article on each one or a different SoundCloud on each one. Because okay. that's very different beliefs. And if I didn't believe in one, I might believe in the other. Uh huh. And if I didn't believe in one, I might believe in the other. So I would separate those into two SoundCloud recordings. Okay. And then I would say just how PTSD, uh, I come up with something like surprising, like it might surprise you. Uh, is PTSD, uh, how would I ask it? Something like, does P, is PTSD always a mental illness? Something that doesn't say the answer, but asks the question. Mm -hmm. And then in the SoundCloud, when we went in back there, you want to do some kind of call to action. So that can just be in the right. So if I look at, uh, okay, if I go to my Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, on the left, I have a, um, I do the link for my 60 days of happiness. Mm -hmm. And that's also my pin tweet. Okay. So now that I've done this series, I can put this one on Twitter also, if that makes sense. Because I'm going to be uh, teaching lots and lots of different things. I'm not going to ever be like all about one thing, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, um, but you can do a call to action in your SoundCloud that says, uh, if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one exploration session on baby whispering, you can either have a go-to, and it's a link where they can sign up as a contact form, or it can be email me. Um, the things that people like to click on are three easy steps. So for three easy steps on this topic, go here. They prefer that over email me or call me. Calling a stranger is like probably more scary than like getting into an airplane, solo airplane about to go into a storm. You know, <laughs> nobody's going to call your phone number. I, very rarely will they. They have to be in so much pain and you're the only person on the planet that can get them out of that pain to pick up and call a stranger is so painful. They have to have hit every single wall everywhere they've gone to pick up and call you. It's like, <laughs> I just better call that. But you know, you, you know, you just don't do it. So if you say something like, uh, for three easy ways of building a, um, Irresistible offer, go to ericaglassing.com slash billionaires, blah, 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 blah. Now they're going to go there. Then you want to try to get their email and their phone number by capturing it um, if you'd like more. So it's like just a process of getting to know them. It's kind of like dating. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, you've just, you know, spent two minutes with me. Let's go have sex. That's just not very common. <laughs> now, now some people still do that. <laughs> But typically, it's going to be more of a wooing process where they get to know you better, um, especially if you're going to ask them to trust you with their PTSD or their babies. You're going to trust you with something pretty deep. They want to get to know you a little better. Um, mm -hmm. So you could also say for more articles on this, and Pat, you could put those on the back end of your website and say for more, art, more uh, audios on understanding PTSD and have a little spot on your website, a little button they can push that says understanding PTSD and just start building SoundCloud, build audios. I get for you, I really get a nice feeling about the audios. Do you? I do. I really do. Yeah. I do. yeah that, and it's something that you can do actively by yourself. Right. Which is so beautiful. You can just create it. Right. And then they're going to sit there evergreen. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you can post on your uh, social, uh, Becky, same for you. Hey, check out my new article on baby whispering. And don't worry about it. You have to stop. If it's something you're being shown that you need to teach and it's being given to you to teach, don't worry about the people who meant to find it and see it. They may have never heard of you before. They may have just found you on that one 
hit of thing that you did. So don't worry about it making sense to the planet. It's gonna be done so that the person who needs it will find it and click on it when they need it and click on it. And you just gotta trust. If you're being called to do the sexy offer. Mm -hmm. Erica, would you recommend having a separate website for no. this? No? I recommend just t uh, tucking it somewhere on your website. Mm -hmm. Because your website's beautiful. I mean, you've done such a beautiful job with all the work you do. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would bother me that you help people with health and consciousness and that you're going to help them with their PTSD. Yeah, even though it's not access. It's not using access at all. So uh, on Happy Publishing, I have a place where I put my classes. Yeah. So that when you go happypublishing.net slash, mm -hmm. you know, live your roar if I was Lisa or something, right? Yeah. Um, it's not gonna, I've never had anybody say, gosh, I wish I didn't have to go through your website. Yeah, okay, great. That really sucked having to see your website when I clicked <laughs> on your article. <laughs> right, okay, you know? good. Oh, I hated learning more about you. <laughs> that was uh -huh. awful. Um, if you feel like it would like its own website, um, that doesn't mean, so it doesn't mean you can't. Uh -huh. Okay. You could yeah. even have it in both places. It's actually more of an and universe. Yeah. So you could even have a PTSD website if that felt better and then have, but have the articles also lodged on your own. Yeah. The mm -hmm. more you show people you, the more you they want. Mm -hmm. It's not the other way around. Right. And then if someone feels like I can't have her teach me about babies because she likes consciousness, they're probably not going to be your best client. Right. Yeah. They're probably going to be okay that you teach consciousness and you help babies or you teach consciousness and you help PTSD. And, and if they're not, then you want to say that might not be there. You, you, right. If you spend too much time, here's the other thing that's beautiful about having it on your website, Pat, mm -hmm. is if they start Googling you, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I saw that website. I'm good. Mm. I, I went there and I got what I needed, which is PTSD information. I mm -hmm. saw her homepage, which was health. When I Google her, I get health and youth. And now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, I get it. Like, do you see? It's like, oh, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. It's very surprising the way people actually process getting to know someone than what the experts say we're supposed to do. Mm. Okay. And, and my experience, they're not, uh, in, in my experience, you just want to be like hot and sexy, come up with new offers, and then I'll leave with just saying to come up with more than you actually do and just come up with more than you actually do, if that makes sense. <laughs> Janie got the time wrong. Say, say that in another way. Oh, come up with more ideas than you actually do. Oh, oh, more ideas. Okay. Like write down 25 ideas or five ideas and just pick the one that feels the most hottest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like write a couple though, because if you just create one, then so you see again, it goes into that what's hard versus what's easy. Mm -hmm. So if you create like five or 10 and then you do one, it feels easy. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you just create one, you work so hard to build it and you only do that one, you've made it so vital. Yeah. And then people like to play better when it's more. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain. Yeah. And if you want to sign up for my course, um, I'd love to have you all. I'll send you the link and you all have a beautiful day and thank you all for coming and mwah, thank you too for being my guinea pigs. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. It's awesome. Awesome. Bye. 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 Bye.